Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for NaCl plus ZnNO3 too. This is sodium chloride. This is zinc nitrate. So the first thing that we need to do with our net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have one chlorine here and two here. So I'll put a two in front of the NaCl. It balances the chlorines, but now I have two sodiums here and just one here. So I'll put a two here. Those are balanced. We have two nitrate ions. Here we have two nitrate ions. We have zinc and zinc. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with the sodium ion here, they're very soluble. Compounds with the nitrate ion, also very soluble. And then we have the chloride ion in general. Those are going to be soluble. So everything's soluble. Everything is going to be aqueous and dissociate into its ions. And for that reason, there is no reaction taking place here. It's helpful if we look at the complete ionic equation for this here. That looks like this. So what you note here with this complete ionic equation for NaCl plus ZnNO3 too is all of these ions are the same. We have two sodium ions, two sodium ions, two chloride ions, two chloride ions. A zinc ion here, a zinc ion here, and then two nitrate ions, two nitrate ions. So the reactants here are the exact same as the products. Nothing's changed, no reaction. So when we try to write the net ionic equation for sodium chloride and zinc nitrate, we can balance the equation, but really there's no reaction because no change has taken place. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.